welcome back to Ark Eternal Olympus. All right, well, I still haven't gotten my graphics issue worked out. Uh, I think I just have to do a restart um, to fix it. I changed some set settings that did require a restart. Uh, but uh, we're going to deal with it through this particular video. It's not too, too bad. Um, but we're going to uh, we're going to do a bunch of things today, guys. So um, the first thing is we do have an egg. These guys, I think they'll breed again here in another 13 and a half minutes. And so we'll get another egg. Um, I, I want to do that. I definitely want to do that. Now, over in here, we have got one of our eggs. We've got this egg, and it's almost ready. It's uh, like 10 incubation. So once that gets down to 1%, we'll go ahead and turn off our egg collector again and pop that baby over here next to our... Um, these are uh, air conditioners here. So we'll pop that down, and we will uh, hatch out a baby. And, man, doing it indoors maybe not be not the best idea. Maybe we'll do it out here. Will that be close enough to the air conditioners? We'll, we'll, we'll try it. Maybe we can pop it out on the porch here and see how that goes. Uh, another thing I want to do is I've been talking about some of the potions and things, and I've got some potions here uh, made up. Uh, got a sex change potion. This one, two times smaller potion. I'm going to take one of these guys, and we're going to run up real quick. And what? Whoa, whoa. Come on. Let's just run up here, and I'm. let's see if we can reduce the size of our Quetzal. I want this Quetzal to be smaller. It's primarily it's used for building stuff anyway, so did it it looks smaller. It is definitely smaller. Look at this guy. Look at this little little tiny quetzal. I wonder if I can use more than one potion on it and make it even smaller than that. Cause while it's smaller than it was wait a minute. Is it smaller than it was? No, it's now it's did that didn't last very long. It's back to the normal size. What? All right, well, that's... Uh, okay, I'm not going to bother with those potions anymore. If it doesn't last, then forget it. Uh, all right, so that's that. Let's go grab our egg, and we'll, we'll pop it down. Let's turn this off, and come over here. And, yep, you're ready. All right, beautiful. We'll take this outside. I hope it's close enough. I mean, I can move those air conditioners if need be, but I don't like to, you know, these dinos of this size, trying to, you know, hash them out indoors, not not a great idea. Oh, don't consume it. All right, just drop. Are you incubating? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. And bam, baby dark star. And let's imprint that. To get out of the wall. What are you doing in, in there? Come here. Come, 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 come here. Come here. Are you going to follow me? Is it stuck? That's part of the reason why I didn't want to do it indoors. Yeah, come over here by mom and dad. Huh. He's a little slow, but he's okay. Hello. You're so... Well, I was going to say cute. I mean, all babies are cute in their own way, right? But he's not so, so cute. Uh, he's more just scary. But he's tiny. And, all right, so we've got three minutes. Its maturation is already 3%. But we've got three and a half minutes until imprint time. So let's give him some prime meat. Here, you can have a whole bunch of prime meat. How's that? That's great. And... You can just wait right there. Just hang on. No, 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 no. I forgot. I forgot. You, yeah, you, here. Come, come back here. Behavior, disable, wander. Right. Do, do, do not wander. Are you, are you, why are you still wandering? Okay. That'll be fine. You just hang out right there, my friend. And we're going to deal with you in two minutes and 42 seconds all right so what's the other thing we want to do i want to kill some more bosses uh various different bosses um with our baby dark star once it's once it's aged up uh, but we'll get it imprinted and so oh and look look i've got this giga saddle this will be the first one that i actually took in to this um augment station and i did armor on it 
because I've got a bunch of armor. I've made up way more armor uh, reagents that I needed, but uh, this is a max level now. Uh, it's a 325 giga saddle, and we're going to put that on our baby Dark Star when it's ready for it. Uh, so, the other thing is, yeah, bosses. I want to look in here. Uh, so, we've done... We've done these two in in bosses. The brood mother just vanished. I don't know what that was about, but we did kill the manticore, and then uh, we did the harbingers. We haven't done any of the ancients, which I would like to do all of them. Um, Matrix score, Dino blood, and Dino hearts. And Matrix score, Dino blood, Dino hearts. Okay, they're all the same requirements, and uh, will summon the ancient mammoth can be knocked out and tamed using eternal orbs will spawn at a random level okay so we can we can look into getting these and taming them up um, then there's the immortals which we've done others which is just okay we, we did the bionic giga and it vanished I don't know where it's at undead wavern we can get one of these guys uh, and that's not too bad at all only five dino hearts 100 electronics 200 metal ingots and 100 polymer. Super, super easy. Uh, obviously, the Compu Matrix we've made. Um, so the only one we haven't done in here is the Undead Wyvern. Uh, we'll summon the Undead Wyvern. And does that is that something that I can knock out? And it doesn't say like the Baronic Giga must kill to spawn a tameable version. Wait, we'll summon the Baronic. Oh, did they change this? They must have changed the Bionic Giga, and that's why my Bionic Giga went away. Because that's not how it was before. It was like, you just summon it, and then knock it out and tame it. Uh, now it says, must kill to spawn tameable version, once tamed it can craft element. Interesting. Is Then this one will summon the Undead Wyvern. It, did, it doesn't say whether you need to kill it or what. Maybe I'll hold off until I find out what's up with that one because I don't want something like that flying around in my property or near my property. Um, that would potentially be bad. All right, so let's go ahead and look back um, at a Vanilla Boss. Yeah, we can do all of these, but they require like Argentavis Talons, three generic artifacts, ten Sarko Skins, uh, Sarpod Vertebrae, etc., etc., um, we could do the Vanilla Brood Mother Gamma level, that's the easy one, just for the cost of three generic artifacts. I would like to do the alpha version, the hard version, because, I mean, come on, I've got, I'm so cheaty with my stats that I, I should be able to do that. But let's go check our, our baby here. You're ready, right? Yes. And you want Lystro Egg Kibble. Do I have any Lystro Eggs that I can make Lystro Egg Kibble? Man, I really want to do that. Um, let's let's see here. I have one Lystro egg. Well, it only needs one kibble, right? Um, what? I don't know how to make it though. Right, let's look in here. Consumables. Crafted foods. Lystro egg. So I've. I need fiber. A Lystro egg. Okay, let's put the Lystro egg in there. So I need fiber, Mija berry, rock carrot, cooked prime meat, and. F All right, that's fine. Got some fiber. I should have cooked prime meat in here somewhere. Um, I thought I did. Cooked meat, cooked prime meat, and major berries and rock carrots. And there's some rock carrots and some major berries. Carrot, cook prime, this, and 
midjos. Consumable. Crafted foods. Where is it? It's not under crafted foods. Well, whatever. Let's just do a search for it. Got it. All right. Well, we've got our Lystra egg kibble. We'll take that stuff back and let's get this out of here. And that and that. All right. Cool. Let's go out and feed. Yeah, I, I'm, let's go get another Lystra too, just in case I need this again. But you, um, here, have that. Oh, imprinted 20%. Crap. I, I was hoping I'd get 100% on it, but... Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to get 100% because it's already at 33 and we'll need four more. Shoot. Well, that's all right. Well, it is what it is. I mean, I've got my, uh, I, I'm pretty sure my maturation is like 20 times. So I, that's my own fault. I mean, I'm doing it to myself by doing that. Uh, but let's, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have any Lystros. I, mean, I can always add a kibble machine or a kibble table. Um, I removed those from my mod list, but I could add one in if it comes to it. But um, maybe we'll find a Lystra just out here on the beach and we can just tame it up. Not that it's going to request Lystra kibble again, but they are really, really easy. Uh, well, whatever. Yeah, I forgot I'd need different types of kibble for our imprintings. But, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just want something that we've either got the eggs for or that, um, you know, maybe it'll just need a cuddle or a walk next time around. But either way, we've got that now. So that is really, really good. How are you guys doing over here? You're going to mate in another minute and 20. So we'll get another one going. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this. You you know what? Here, take this saddle. You can just hang on to that. Yeah, and this thing, how did it, what did it get? Okay, it's melee damage is 1259. Is that the same as dad? 1211. Maybe it went up after the imprint. I forgot to take a look what the stats were prior to uh, our imprint on it. But either way, we'll, we'll see. You know, I'd, I'm more concerned with the end result than I am with, uh, you know, whatever. What the hell? Oh, here's a Lystra. Look. You. Here, let's do this. Let's take some major berries, stick them like that, and do that. Okay, so yeah, you'll need a, a few more bites of that, but they get hungry really, really fast. So, three more. Here we go. There's that and that and that and great okay you're supposed to be following me so stop doing that here now we just do this we're gonna stick one of these guys on there like so and this like that and you now come here we'll just run it inside it's a male but we've got a sex change potion And we're going to try it out on this guy right now. So you stop following me. And uh, sex change. Good. This, this should work, right? This is going to work. And there it is. It's a female now. Brilliant. Haha. -ha. Good. Lay eggs for us. Um, man, I need to get rid of some of these dodos. Yeah, this is ridiculous. There's just too many dodos. And it's, look at this egg collector. It's, uh, 459 out of 500. And I've already done tons and tons of kibble. I've moved a bunch of eggs in here. Uh, I don't need all those freaking eggs. Let's put away this cooked prime. 
and these rock carrots. Oops, give me that back. Okay, baby. How's your baby doing? I want to keep on top of this imprinting here. How, how close are you? Wants to cuddle. All right, good. Good, good. I like the cuddles. That was very nice. All right, so it's 40% imprinted, and it's 51% maturation. All right, well, we'll deal with it. Um, and, you know, these are very pretty when they're on, so let's turn that on. I like the look of that so, so much. I thought it was having a beam. I thought it was supposed to have a beam that went up into the sky. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, this... the The size change thing trips me out. Why didn't this stay... Why didn't it stay small? Like it was. I don't know. Does the potion say that it's only temporary? Let's take a quick look. This. Having trouble getting your dino through a gate or want to sneak somewhere? Use this potion to make your tame dino two times smaller. Oh, for 60 seconds. And I wonder if that's affected by my increased rates and stuff. So, Because it didn't really last 60 seconds, did it? It seemed to have lasted like maybe six seconds. So, since I've got some, some settings at 10 times, uh, maybe it, yeah, that's, uh, okay, so it's only used for basically getting it through the gate or sneaking around and stuff. So, I, I get it now. Now, it makes more sense. Okay, uh, what's next then? I want to look at, how long do we have on this? I want to get at least, uh, you know, however many I can imprints on this. So he's got two minutes to go. 895? How come it's only 895 and these are 900? Huh. That's odd. I thought it would get the parents' levels, but it seems to be a little bit random. Um, no, I want to go up and look at our Prime Wyvern and see about its evolution. Yeah, I need 25 freaking tokens, and I already used 30 tokens to upgrade, which is all I had. So I'll need to go out and hunt a lot more of the um, Dominus in order to do it. But I want to do a poison uh, wyvern. So in between, guys, I'm undoubtedly going to go out and farm Dominus for a while because that's that's the next major evolution thing that I want to do is this prime wyvern um, and make it a poison wyvern. Uh, I also want to find another poison dragon because... The, the, the Waverns are great, and having a Poison Waverns will be really cool, too, but um, it's the thing is, guys, uh, they can't swim. Uh, they'll, it'll dismount me. It'll dismount me if I go in the water, but a dragon will not. And so having a Poison uh, Dragon that can go swimming in the water is fantastic. Um, these guys also can go in the water, but... Um, I'm stuck on stuff. But, I don't think there's any evolution to them. I can't turn one into a poison one. Nope. And, um, frankly, you know, it's not really a flyer. It's just a glider. So, they're not as versatile. And I can't imagine using one of those to be a tranker for us. Now, we might go with using a brood mother as a tranker. But, they do quite a bit of damage. And I would prefer to use... The Poison Dragon is my favorite. It's just, hands down, I think the best Tranker around. So, um, yeah, I want to do that. Let's see, how are we doing? How close are we? Are you ready? Five seconds. Good. Cuddle! We like the cuddle so much. All right, so there's there's 60%. Well, I think, yeah, we'll get one more in before it's fully matured. Can we get? Can we get two in? It's at seventy percent now. No, we're not going to get. We're not going to get two of them in. All right, four more seconds. Now that this might be something that we could change its age back, and then it'll give me the chance to finish out the imprint. 
Um, so we might go with one of those potions that, you know, reduces the age again. Uh, now, I don't know. Would that reset all of my imprinting? That would kind of suck. I would hope that that wouldn't happen. But um, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Let's hit that. I don't like that thing. Uh, all right. So we're got, we got to wait for that. But I'm very impatient. I get antsy if I just sit around. I would like to be doing more things. I really wish I could get my graphics fixed without having to log out, but I think I'm going to have to log out of the game and log back in in order to fix that fully, but I mean, things don't look that that bad, do they? You let me know. But either way, it is what it is for this video. Um, this guy. No. No. I keep thinking I'm going to have something... Now, oh! I found an Indominus uh, Rex that I was... I started to trank it out, uh, but then I got attacked by the Alpha Wyvern, so we just went after the Alpha Wyvern. But I think we'll go after the Indominus together, guys, and um, we'll see. I, I don't know how it's how much uh, torpor it's going to require. Uh, I would assume it's pretty similar to the Dark Stars because it is uh, not Dark Stars, but the uh, Dota Rexes because um, they're all Dominuses. But okay, two more minutes. Two more minutes. What else can we do in two minutes? Oh, well, I am out. Look, I've made a bunch more freaking darts. I've been making uh, simple rifle ammo, so I've got like uh, 1,500, over 1,500 of those. Um, and I'm making more of the darts, so I've got another 180 eternal prime poison darts here. I've got 162 on me. So those are really really good um, we also I want to get a full where's my arrows I've got 160 but I want to get a full stack of the eternal prime poison arrows also but those those are a little more difficult than the darts because they require oh let's see I've got even more simple rifle ammo in there they require the taming potions and the taming potions are a bit uh, more intensive uh, no it's under these no where is it under eternal right dino only this uh, yeah it's the narco berries spoiled meat and stem berries I got plenty of narcotics still so we'll have to probably do a little bit of got spoiled meat here oh tons all right um, yeah, we probably have to take the Bronto out and get some some uh, berries. But here, can you? What's your deal, dude? There you go. Attack. Well, this is not a great area. If we run this thing all over, like out into the... Um, You know, go faster. We need to make this thing faster. Is 580 fast enough? No. Can you ever make a Bronto fast enough? I don't know that that's even a thing. I've never heard of such a thing. Alright, but yeah, there's... If we go out into the swampy area over there, um, we, can, we can clear plants like crazy and um, get tons and tons of narc berries. But for now, okay, let's, I can't. Let's just head back. Time to do our, I think, final imprint. And look, it's almost mature here. So what do you need now? What do you need now? Cuddle! We like the cuddles. All right, yeah, and it's 88%. It's going to be mature before this next four minutes, right? If I had been just sitting here watching it, we might have gotten all of the imprints in. But I just... I don't, I don't know. I, that doesn't seem possible. But either way, at 80% imprint, I think that's still going to be sufficient. We've got over 7 million hit points. Um, 1404 melee. 
uh, movement speed is at 116. So, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking this thing out and doing crazy stuff with it. Um, we'll see how it stacks up against some of the other things. I would hope the Dark Star is more powerful than a, a Dominus Dodo Rex, but the Dominus Dodo Rex, an imprinted Dominus Dodo Rex, is so super powered. Uh, but either way, we're gonna we're gonna find out just how the Dark Star matches up to everything. Um, the, now, the one advantage that the Dark Star has that the uh, Dominus doesn't is, like, okay, here, let's, what, oh, because you're mating? Is it because you're hitched? I can't ride you? Are you, did you guys lay another egg for me already? What does it say? Give me that box. Ready to mate? Okay, so they did. All right, let's, you know what, let's tell them. Um, here, stop wandering, and you stop wandering, and let's go ahead and unhitch them. Yeah, now, one of the advantages that these guys have that uh, they're still, that uh, the regular Totorex doesn't have is this. Look, I can summon minions with it. And those minions are pretty slick. They, they do some damage. They're level 3,000 freaking minions. So, yeah. I don't know how many... Oh, I can ride it? I can ride a minion? Seriously? All right, what am I, uh, but I can't go into its inventory, check stats or anything. That is interesting. I never knew that this was a thing. How is this a thing? There's no inventory. I can't check its stats or anything, but... I can get off of the Dark Star and ride one of the freaking minions around. That is weird. Huh. Very cool, though. They'll vanish after time, but... Okay. Uh, you. Are you ready? Are you already matured? Yeah, you're at 99.6 and a minute left. Man, I might have gotten all of the imprints had I been more... On top of things. Maybe we'll check that for the next egg. We've got another egg. So, all right. Time to equip your saddle. And we will take you out for a little jog. How does that sound? We're going to start out by putting these potions on you. This is why I've been carrying them around. And uh, these potions on you. And I don't think you need anything else. Maybe we'll put some of those on you. All right. Good. We'll do this and that. And... Let's let's get started. So seven million hit points, not even close to sufficient. Let's go! Oh my God! Huh? I did three clicks, and it's like seventy-nine, like eighty million hit points. That is freaking bananas! All right, no, that's that's enough. <laughs> that's I think way more than enough. All right, let's just get them full, and now um, let's check movement. At 116, it's pretty quick, but not quick enough. Let's bump it once. That's 133.4. Yeah, oh, wow. You're excited about that movement speed buff, aren't you? Here, let's just do this. Uh, now, still not quite fast enough. Let's go a little faster at 150. Now, I don't want it super, super fast because it'll make it harder to maneuver and get things, but I'm thinking this... Maybe one more. I'll do one more speed thing. At 168, that shouldn't be sufficient. Let's go crazy with melee. Let's just go freaking bananas with the melee. It's up to 40,000, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90,000. Over 100,000 melee damage. And, uh, wow. Still levels to burn. And at 168, movement... Wait, it's just killing every dodo in its path, isn't it? Support dodos. And it breaks rocks. I like that. I like that because uh, some of the other guys don't break the rocks and they get stuck on them. And that's a big pain in the butt. But being able to clear everything out of your way just by running into it is great. Alright, let's just start clearing some stuff here. And I want to see. Because we need to get... We need to get a bunch more tokens for our evolution of the Prime Wyvern. But... Um, 
I also want to see how this thing performs. So let's see how we're going to do out here. I'm just, I'm just biting, biting, biting as we go here. Let's see what other functions. Okay, right click, right click. That does that breath, and then C. Uh, that does that. Oh, what? Are you serious? That's not going to work for you. Why did I get a squid tentacle out of a uh, alpha dire uh, alpha? That bird, the ugly bird, the terror bird. That is weird, but whatever. We got one anyway. So okay, let's look here. I've got eleven levels to work with. I'm going to go a little bit more movement speed. And I can't imagine I'm going to need anything other than nothing else, actually. This is fast enough, right? Well, maybe we'll go faster. What the hell? I don't think my melee, melee is going to suffer. Okay, that, that'll be as fast as we're going to take it. And, oh, man, I've still got levels. 120,000 percent melee. I have no idea how much damage this thing is doing, but I can't imagine anything can stand up to it. Like, for one, even one bite. Now, my melee won't have any impact on the melee of the minions, will it? Or will it? Maybe it will. I don't know. I... I wouldn't think so. Where's the freaking... Where's the Dodo Rexes and the Broodmothers? That's what we want. I just run around bite anything and everything. Yeah, I think this is fast enough. But, oh, here we go. There we go. You guys? Yeah, it's just this one bite, one kill. All right. Well, clearly, uh, nothing out here is going to take more than a single bite. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm still getting stuck into some terrain. Maybe we'll find some more dark, uh, dark rooms in this area here. I just I want to get those freaking tokens thing. And why did some of these creative critters just disappear? It's throwing me out here. Or tripping me out. Whatever. It's just not right. There should be a brew by the around here, right? I've run into them in this area quite a bit. It's general vicinity. I don't know, maybe I do a dino wipe next time I log out. Or just before I log out or something. I don't know. But, um, I think the true test of this guy's power is going to be out on that dead island. So I'm, I'm happy enough with hit points and that is 79 million, right? 79 Eight nine zero six zero eight. Sure enough. Okay, so up we go with melee. A hundred and thirty thousand percent melee damage and eighty percent imprint. Let's go crazy out at the dead island, right? And it's a female. All right, which doesn't really matter because we got sex change potions. All right, let's go. Let's go. We've got to kill uh, those. I, I'd rather be killing the. Um, where is it? Where's the death island? There we go. Uh, I'd rather be killing the uh the Dominus, but if there's no Dominus around to kill, to hell with them. We're going to just come out here and see about... Like the Bronto, that we're going to find out here how powerful. Can I kill a Bronto in one bite? I can't imagine that it would. Yes, clearly powerful enough to take out the Bronto in one bite. Yeah, dodos. Get him. Get him, my, my minions. 
go get them. Look at the minions are going crazy on those Zomdodos over there. I like it. They, they keep them off my feet. There we go. This is what we want. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get out of the water. This thing seems to have a better turning rate. All right, one, two. Oh, just over two bites. And an Immortal Giga. Where's the Immortal Giga? I want that. There it is. You, oh, just stay away. Where, where did that thing go? What the hell happened to it? Is it in the, oh my god, it's in the freaking world. Did I kill it? it you guys saw it, right? It was right down in the, yeah, it's in there. Can you see the, I can't get to it. Oh, there we go. I hit it. Well, I got the souls out of it. Uh, it's weird. It was like inside the world there. All right. Well, you know what? We need more minions. Get those Zomdodos for me. So, yeah, clearly this thing is more powerful than any of the other dinos that I've had because I wasn't killing those immortals with a single or uh, with only three bites before. What? what? Oh, wow. Okay. We got a mammoth and a giga. Two. Three bites. And that's dead. Where's the mammoth? There you are. We can go underwater. One. Two, just two bites for that one. That was interesting. Okay, cool. And it's not a very fast swimmer, but yeah, I don't think it's, it doesn't have an oxygen stat, right? Yeah, we don't have, even have an oxygen stat. I haven't had to heal a single time, also. Look, you stop. You guys, go get them, my minions. Seek and destroy. Yeah, this is ridiculously powerful. And, like, uh, none of my other critters, am I immune to fire and status effects or something like that? I don't know. I just don't know. Because, look at all this. Yeah, this thing is blasting me. I don't see a status effect on me. Oh my god, this thing is badass. Yeah. With the saddle, I'm not taking hardly any melee damage. With the uh, whatever I've got going, I'm not seemingly taking any status effects. Damage. It's like this thing's invulnerable and has nearly 90 million hit points on top. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This thing is super powered. I love it. All right, well, it's getting a little bit dark, and I think we're going to call it here. I'm very, very happy. Um, I'm probably going to spend some time. I, I need to log out and log back in. And, you know, I hope my game doesn't freeze on me like it did before and go through all that crap. But, um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this guy. And... Yeah, we'll have another one, and I'll see about a 100% imprint, hopefully, on the next one. Which won't make any difference, really, because I'm just killing everything super fast and real, real easily anyway. So let's just pull out a torch so we can see a little bit better. And we will just say thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have, please smash the like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. 
subscribe, share and favorite, pull out some minions to deal with the Zomdotas, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.